have to say that it's a, really, uh, a real pleasure for me to be here. About 22 years ago, well, maybe not that far back, uh, but in about 1992, um, 1991, I had the pleasure of being in the Pentagon and working with General Conaway and Dan Donahue to start this program. And uh, it was just so exciting for me to be on the ground floor and be involved with this program even today. I have to tell you that the Maryland program is close to my heart. And when we decided to start a STEM 3D printing project, we could have gone anywhere. But we chose to come here because this is where we wanted to be for our pilot program. And so today we're going to honor eight cadets. So Keith, could you come up? And can I get Tom up? We, um, we didn't know how this was going to work out. We just said, let's take this stuff in and see what happens. We actually um, brought in 3D printers. We have Tom, who is just a teacher extraordinaire. Would you wait and not say that's true? Don't you just love Mr. Tom? Yeah. And so they spent about 30 hours learning all about additive manufacturing, 3D printing, working with the software, with the CAD software. And they just did an, they just did an absolutely brilliant job. Um, and so one of the things that happened was we know how important your ribbons are. And so he's got them. Okay. So we would like um, the eight cadets who participated in our program to come up and he's going to tell you who they are. Gather, Luder, Kamara, Wilcox, the firm of Gonzalez and Gonzalez. And so, um, one of the things that happened was we thought it would be really cool if we could add a ribbon to the ribbon bar. So, Tom is actually giving each of the participants a ribbon that was printed on a 3D printer. And so they'll be adding these to the bar. And we thought this was really a lot of fun. And we've given them calipers. We did a recognition day last week where we went down into Virginia. And we actually went to companies that use 3D printing and manufacturing for things like actually the military rifle rail is currently being done with 3D printing. So there's a future in this area. And it also, I can tell you that there's not another high school around um, that is exposing their students the way these kids have been exposed uh, to 3D printing and added manufacturing. So they really have a leg up going into this. And we were so proud of their work that we wanted to have uh, the opportunity to give them something to take them forward. So what we would like to do at this time is give each of you uh, a tablet that you can take with you into your journeys after graduation um, to take you into the future, into school, into your jobs. this is one, but everybody's getting one. Gather. Sluder. was actually one of those that was interviewed. It will be listened to by the business community in about two weeks it'll be aired and we'll also provide it to the organization to put on your website. So thank you so very much for all of your hard work. Tom was just wonderful. He actually, by the way, just won Volunteer of the Year from our foundation for all of his work here at Maryland.
all of the work for the hard work for the cadets. So it was a great honor to be here, and thank you so much. And we'll be back. Um, one of the things I had the honor of going down with them on their trip, and the kids wanted to do something back to you. So with that, they actually came up with a plaque. Uh, it's a little memento as far as saying thank you, and uh, as far as you think a little bit. And the, in order to share that memento, they also took the picture that we took as a group picture, and they autographed each one of them to get back to you. Please.